Mom? Hey there. How are you feeling? Sleepy. And tired. Oh, you must be exhausted. This is not good. What is it, Scorch? There's something I gotta tell you. Please don't tell my father. Okay... What's up, little dude? I get visions. Visions of the past, the future, even of the present. It's weird. Why are you telling me this? Why now? You saw something, didn't you? Yes. And I'm sorry, because you're not going to like what you hear. What did you see? Tell me. Your brother is dead. Red Sail. He's dead. I'm sorry. What? Are you sure he's dead? Maybe he's just sleeping. Brother, no. Now, if you want to get out of bed, you're going to have to use that until your hip and your back heal. No, no, I want to walk and run. This can't be happening. Please tell me it isn't so. I'm sorry. Well, he's out of luck. Be nice, Jumpy. He's obviously having a really bad day. Do you have any idea what will happen to you if you're caught being mean to Spike? Shut up, Junior. And why don't you both knock it off? You're very annoying. Nobody asked you, Slice. Yeah, shut your mouth, Slice. All right, that does it! I have had it with you two idiots! Idiots! Shut your pie hole, Slice! I'm telling Mom! I have idiots for siblings. I'm starting to question my sanity. Tonight is a beautiful night, don't you think? Yes, Knight, but what matters to me is you. I wouldn't enjoy this if you weren't here. I agree. Although sometimes I wonder what daytime looks like. I wish I could go out in the day. I'll bet it's not as beautiful as you, though, Snow. Aw, thanks, Knight. Ow! Snow! Are you alright? Snow! Tell me what's wrong. 
please. I think I know what's happening. Oh, now you get it? I'm having a baby, you numbskull! Jeez! You don't need to yell at me. Why are you so aggressive? I'm sorry, it's just that... I know. I understand. I also understand that there's no way we're going to make it back home. Easy, Snow. You can do this. I hope. I've got names for them already. Tell me. The white one is Fern, the black one is Xavier, and the gray one is Willow. Oh, Knight. Those are the perfect names for them. What's wrong, Raven? I just feel really bad for things I've done. Raven. It's in the past. You don't need to worry about it. Thanks, my love. There's something I want to tell you, by the way. What is it? I'm pregnant, Scorch! Wait, doesn't that mean... Kids? Yes, you're going to be a father. Um, Scorch, are you okay? Scorch, I'm okay. Sorry. How's it going, sweetheart? Oh, Sarge, um, hi! <laughs> Wanna watch a horror movie at my place? <laughs> sure. Love me a good bit of horror before bed. I love you, Sarge. A lot more than some old horror movie. Yeah, me too, Chloe. I should probably go before they start looking for me. Yeah, you're probably right. If they find out, they'll kill you. You should go. Spike wouldn't let them kill me. How the hell is he gonna save you? Why do you care so much for that weakling anyway? Because he's my brother! Please don't kill me. And please stop trying to kill Spike. I'd never hurt you, Chloe. And... You really should have told me that he was your sibling. Does this mean you're not going to try and kill him anymore? Look, I'm sorry if it hurts you, but I'm still going to kill him. Then... Then make it quick. I don't want him to suffer. What did he even do to you anyway? It's not about him. It's about what Shadow did. That monster ruined my life. Him and Ash. How is that Spike's fault? Why does he deserve to die for what his dad did? And who the hell is Ash? He's the reason my parents threw me into the river and abandoned me. He was Red Sail's father, wasn't he? Is that why you hate Red Sail? 
Yeah. Sarge, it's not their fault. You don't think I'm crazy, do you? Because I'm starting to think I am. Yeah, but we can work on that. Besides, I seem to be able to get you to do just about anything I want. <laughs> just stop! You are not having all the chocolate in the fridge. Not happening. No. Not again. Uh-uh. No way. Chocolate, you say? Hmm. No! It's my chocolate! You can't have it! Please? No! S stop it! Please? Fine. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't mention it. <laughs> I smell food. Finally. Oh, I'm starving. I have to get that food. Eason 50? Yes, Ripper? Do... do you... have any... food by any chance? Yes. Are you hungry? I'm starving. Please. I really need food. Oh. You poor thing. Here, let me get something for you to eat. I hope you enjoy your dinner. Oh my gosh! Um... Ripper? Maybe you shouldn't have eaten that that fast. Especially because you're malnourished. Why not? Yikes! I'll get him a sandwich and help him not eat it so fast. Do you want to join me, sweetheart? But, wouldn't that make me a traitor? Well, considering what we did last night, you're already a traitor. I'll join you. I don't mind being a traitor. Did you really think I'd say no to an offer like that? You know, you shouldn't be out at night. Not safe for a spino like you. Also, it's depressing. Can't you tell I'm grieving the death of my brother, you moron? And... Who are you? I'm Shakespeare. And here's a tip. Don't call a random person you don't even know a moron for not knowing what you're going through. I'm sorry. It's all right. Whoa! What happened to your tail? I ran into a night feeder. He sliced my tail off. That must have hurt. Oh, it did. I'm just glad he didn't kill me. Do you have anywhere to live? You look like you've been out here for a while. Not really. Why don't you come with me to where I live? That place has everything you need. Sure. Thank you. Fritz? Oh! Want some raspberries? I don't even want to know. 
Yeah, same here, Draco. Just ignore my annoying brother. Although I have to admit you're pretty hot. Oh, I see where you're going with this. What are you getting at? I wish I could walk. <laughs> At least the sunset is beautiful. I remember sitting under that tree reading books when I was little. <sighs> ah, the sweet memories. It's kind of cheering me up. Goodbye, cruel world. Finally, no more pain and suffering. Don't worry, I've got you! Ah! Or maybe I don't! I hate my life. I I'm sorry. I just... I don't know. He's out cold. I'll need to carry him home. Can you help me, Ripper? Yeah. Thanks, sweetie. Please don't call me that, E750. Oh, sorry. You just remind me of Spike a lot. You're very sweet and polite. Just like him. Anyways, let's just get him home. Good. Get some rest. You deserve a break. Hey, Pyro. Hello, Juliet. The full moon is beautiful tonight, isn't it? Not as beautiful as you. Aw, thank you, my love. <laughs> Fools. Pyro, we need to... <gasps> Pyro, no! My love, please wake up. Please. Pyro! Echo? Charlie? Are you guys there? 
Yes, Delta. It's us. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Echo? What's wrong? Why are you crying? I just can't believe that Indy would do this to Delta. Uh, what can I say? You should have known. That Indoraptor is crazy. I wouldn't trust him in 250 million years. Park, that really doesn't help. Just saying. Psh, stupid raptor. Jerk. Don't lower yourself to his level. Trust me, it's completely unnecessary. Getting involved will just give him what he wants. Attention. I hope I was helpful. Help! Someone help! Pyro needs help! Please! Hang on, I'll be right there! Please, save my mate. I don't know what I'll do without him. He's... he's dead. There's no pulse. <laughs> Who did this?! It was Sarge. I knew it! That selfish... heartless... mindless... monster! I hope I get to personally end him myself! I stabbed him in the stomach with my claws. It's a fatal wound left untreated. He likely doesn't have long. Then I hope he dies a slow, painful death, just like he gave Pyro. Oh, crud. Okay, who did that? Me! I did it! I won't lose another Spino! Losing Red Sail was enough to make me cry for hours! I won't lose another one! Especially not Blue Claw! I can save Pyro. You can? How? I thought that you didn't have powers. I do have powers. Just not the kind that Red Sail had. Here, I'll show you what I can do. Three, two, one. Clear! So tired. Pyro! Whatever you do, don't close your eyes! Do you hear me, Pyro? Stay awake! Why? Your tiredness is because of blood loss. Your feeling of wanting to sleep is your body telling you to lay down and die. You have to stay awake. Pyro, please. Stay awake. Don't close your eyes. Pyro! Listen to them, Pyro. If you close your eyes, you will die. Alexa is here, Pyro. She'll save you. Just stay awake. You have to stay awake. Okay. <coughs> we stopped Pyro's bleeding and fixed his wounds up. But he needs a blood transfusion or he'll die anyways. If we can't find someone who's willing to do it, then... I'll do it. I overheard everything and I have the same blood type as him, so it should work. Okay then. 
I guess that won't be a problem. Alexa. If you harm a single quill on my son's head, I will give you a slow, painful death by poison and electrocution. Yes, he sent 50. I, I mean, no! Uh, uh, yes! Uh, ah! Whatever! I won't hurt your son! There you go. Sleep well. Finally, my cave. Someone, please, help. Sarge! Oh no! Healing herbs! That should help! Please, don't die, Sarge. <laughs>